Do you want to learn how to make from one fish a meal for two people to enjoy a nice white bottle of wine? Of course you do. So on today's episode, Sipas with mashed potato with only one fish but two plates. Stay tuned because it's going to start now. Now after looking into the ingredients, we're going to make something simple, easy, traditional with a small twist. And we're going to make our mashed potatoes with red potatoes. I know most of the people that are making mashed potatoes are using white potatoes because they have high content of starchness, but in my opinion, this recipe is not falling from the others. And don't forget, the famous Jolo Bichon made his mashed potato with different type of potatoes. So I'm encouraging you to give it a try. After that, we're going to cut the fish and use the bones to create the stock. Where we're going to use the stock in the sauce itself. And in my opinion, using the whole fish in the recipe, it's, it's much better than using just the fillet. Why? Because it's more flavor, it's more sustainable. You're actually working with the whole produce and giving a respect that it's supposed to get. And if you feel still a little bit intimidated with cutting the fish, you, you can ask in your local store where you buy the fish to cut the fish and give you the bones. Most of the time they're going to give it to you because again, you pay for them. When you buy the fish, they scale in the fish before cutting it and after that cutting it and not always giving you the bones. Some stores are giving the bones, some stores are not giving the bones. But if you ask, they should give you. So, we're going to start with the mashed potato, as I said, and after that, the fish. So, let's peel them and put them on the stove. After peeling the potatoes, we're going to wash them to get rid of the dust or dirt that you have still on the potatoes from peeling them. And now we're going to cut them. The way we're cutting them, we're cutting them so the potatoes are going to cook evenly and the outside won't become mashed potato actually in the process of cooking before even mashing it and the inside is still going to be raw. So, in this process, we are cutting all the potatoes roughly to the same shape, so everything is going to cook in the same time, and also the cooking process is going to be much shorter. So, let's put it on the stove. When I'm cooking my potatoes, I'm cooking them on six out of nine electric stove power. I'm going to add the water. Water. And we're going to add bay leaf and peppercorn. Why are we going to add them? To give a little bit more flavor to the potatoes themselves and it makes a difference, in my opinion. And, of course, salt. Close. Now we're going to let the potatoes come to boil. Then we're going to lower a little bit the heat and let them smear for 10 minutes. And after that, we're going to make them mashed potatoes. And in the meantime, we're waiting for the potatoes to come to boil and smear. We're going to work on the fish. We're going to press a little bit the fish. Cut it in the back. Find the bone. Always pressing. Bring the knife. To the end. And Now we're going to clean the fillet, bring the knife, under the bones, and go all the way. Cut. After cutting the fillet and cleaning them from the bigger bones, we need to clean the smaller bones. We're going to use tweezers and a small bowl with water. Use your finger to find the bone and after that with tweezers take it out and put it into the water. The bones are going to sink and the tweezers will be clean. Feel with the finger that you don't have bones and in this way we have two beautiful fillets that we're going to use for our dish. But we're going to cut them in half. Our mashed potato is almost done, so now we're going to turn it off 
and we're going to warm up the butter and the milk. I'm using milk instead of uh, cream because I'm using butter in this recipe. Some people using only cream, some people using cream and butter, but for me it's a little bit too fatty. I like the combination of milk and the butter. Don't forget to add the salt. A little bit, yeah? When we're going to make the mashed potato and we're going to mix everything, taste the mashed potato. If you're missing salt, better to add salt instead of making the mashed potato salty. Now, don't forget to leave a little bit butter from this recipe that you have in the description below with all the ingredients and the method of cooking as well aside because we will need it for the sauce also, for the fish stock. We have our bones, we're going to put them in one pot, cold. I'm going to put it on 7 out of 9, add water and vegetables. I'm using carrot, onion and celery, that's it, not much. Now we're going to strain it with a strainer. Beautiful. Put the strainer on the same pot and using a spoon open a little bit the potatoes let the steam evaporate and using tweezers take all the peppercorn and the bay leaf good tip when you're cooking with bay leaf and peppercorn and you're putting them loose without the cheesecloth or something that you are actually going to take it out and you want to collect all of them count how many you actually put if you know that you put five you know you need to take five if you found only four there is one left inside the pot same with the bay leaf otherwise somebody going to choke on it and i'll tell you the truth and it happened now when the potatoes are chilled and you don't have much more steam coming out of the potatoes we're going to mash them i like my mashed potato really smooth some people like it a little bit more chunky some people like with the food blender but in my opinion the food blender it's like too much starchy flavor to it chunky i don't like i like it smooth so i'm going to use this strainer that we strain the water from the potatoes to actually push back into the same pot the potatoes and after that add the milk and the butter while making the mashed potato, I see that the fish stock is already boiling. I'm going to lower a little bit the heat using a lid. We're going to take the excess foam. So the stock itself is going to be clear and not gray a little bit. Now let's finish with this one. Beautiful. All the strainer is clean. Now to the bottom. Just let's start adding the milk and the butter. I'm going to Whisk it a little bit and pour it, not all of it, half of it. If we need more, we're going to add more. I'm going to add half. I turned on the stove, so it's actually going to heat the mashed potato. I'm going to whisk it. Beautiful. Let's taste it for salt. But in my opinion, oh, we're already done. Let's cover it, put it aside, and start working on the fish and the sauce in the same pan. So, I'm going to put a pan, 7 out of 9, electric stove power. The stock is already done. Now we're going to season the fish. I'm putting black pepper just on the flesh with a little bit of salt. And on the skin, I'm not putting pepper. I like it really nice, crispy. So, I'm going to show you how I'm doing it and using a paper towel dry the fish skin completely before putting the salt now take it down discard and add salt when the pan is hot i'm going to add oil and the fish At this moment, when the fish is in the pan, press it a little bit with a spoon or if you want with a finger, so it will get the nice crust. Move it a little bit if it's unstick pan. Press it, don't be afraid. 
and we're going to let it cook until we're going to see a nice white line like here already flip it 30 seconds not more than that and take it out now let's take it out beautiful then back on the heat we still have flavor here even though some people don't see it there is garlic two cloves slice it and add it to the pan also we have our green onion I'm going to use only the white for this the top of the scallions we're going to use on top as a decoration now I'm going to add the magic olive oil mix it fish stock two two and a half scoops let it reduce secret small ingredient I'm going to add one leaf of kaffir lime you can add lemon juice you can add uh, lemon zest I like kaffir lime in this because the kaffir lime in my opinion enhancing a little bit the flavor of the mustard that we're going to add also when the stock is half evaporated we're going to add wine and we're not adding the wine before the stock otherwise it's going to explode and you don't want it to happen and let it evaporate even more so now we're going to let it reduce a little bit more we're going to add also the mustard in this moment we can add the butter in the moment you put in the butter take the pan from the heat and using the, the heat from the pan you start shaking it until all the butter is dissolved and you will come and you start seeing that the sauce it's thickening see beautiful we don't need the heat anymore we're going to add our fish back and now it's just time to plate so we have our fish so we have our mashed potato we have the fish with the sauce I have the scallions that we're going to slice a little bit and put it on the top. I'm using a spoon with the hot water. And put it on a plate. And here, one, here. top and this is how you make delicious one fish for two people to enjoy a nice dinner together easy and simple at home let me know what you think about this recipe in the comments below and let me know if you want to see something different from other cultures ingredients or methods of cooking and also don't forget to subscribe because more of these recipes are coming up every week thank you very much for watching i'm andre and this is think of food